I'm on, here on behalf of those who are here from Texas. Um, everybody from Texas, raise their hand. Now, everybody who grew up with Gray, watched him through all those years, watched him come home from college during the summer, watched all the struggles and the trials, went to church with him, raise your hand. On behalf of all those people, I, I need to bring a warning to Emily and the Adams family. <laughs> there was a time in Gray's life when he was a Cutco knife salesman. <laughs> Now, the first thing about that is we've taken up these utensils <laughs> that we used tonight, Gray, and they are really crappy compared to what you sold us. I don't do that. <laughs> I know a guy. I know a guy. Yeah. The other is a warning to the Adams and to Emily that, uh, and all of the relatives, and those of you who are not from Texas and aren't, haven't been privy to this information before now, is that based on those of us who have known that part of Gray's life, we've done a little research and we've come to find out that we need to tell you in all seriousness that he could revert back to that at any time. <laughs> and so if you get a call at night saying, do you mind if I just come over for a few minutes this evening? <laughs> Think very quickly. Do not succumb. <laughs> we have spent a fortune <laughs> on Cutco knives. <laughs> Emily. If we had to buy another thousand cut coat knives, we would do it if it led him to you. The best of you.